Hey everybody, Kevin here with another Note Investor Tip of the Day. And this one's on writing offers, making offers, whether it's written or verbal. Before you close on a note, you always wanna make your offer subject to something. Okay? The way I do it is subject to a satisfactory BPO, title report, and other due diligence. Now you'll notice that's vague. It's vague on purpose. That's the power of doing that. When you have vagueness in there, what's further due diligence? It's whatever it is that I look at. Now, if I don't see something I like, I can back out of that contract. So it's very easy to add those sorts of things in there. Uh, you could also put subject to my financial partner's approval. Who's your financial partner? You may not even have one yet, but you could show it to somebody else and go, nope, I wouldn't do it. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of little loopholes like that, and there's nothing unethical uh, or anything about that. It's a, it's a counter offer because in this business, many times you have to move forward without knowing all the facts. And why would you want to close on a deal where you're going to make money or excuse me, going to lose money because you locked yourself into something? So we never want to do that. We do that same thing in real estate. Anytime you make an offer, <laughs> which I've done on the hood of the car sometimes, always subject to something uh, else. So. There's your note investor tip of the day.